Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Call of Duty to embrace open world campaigns and Black Ops, Gulf War, and beyond. This year's Call of Duty is set to embrace an open world campaign and Black Ops, Gulf War, Insider Gaming has learned. Sources explained that unlike Modern Warfare 3, Gulf War's campaign has been built from the ground up rather than using assets from previous entries. Because I've noticed that when Modern Warfare 3 and the approach to the campaign campaign like the concept of open combat missions it looked really really good on paper but in execution it ended up flopping so badly because unfortunately sledgehammer just wasn't able to have enough time to properly flesh out the concept for it to be at the quality that they would have wanted it to if treyarch is indeed going to go this route in regards to black ops gulf wars campaign uh, awesome i mean that's cool the campaign developed by Raven Software. Okay, so Raven is actually the ones that are developing the campaign for Gulf War. I've always wanted to see what Raven's vision is for what their ideal Call of Duty campaign would be. And while we are getting that in some way, shape, or form, at the same time, I can understand that they have to do it in the vision that Treyarch has it. It will also see the return of some Black Ops characters, including Adler, who will be a part of your team, which for those that do not know, Adler was a character that appeared in the campaign for Black Ops Cold War. Call of Duty 2025, codenamed Saturn, which currently doesn't have an assigned leading developer, is also pitched to have an open world campaign with its map being separated into several different biomes slash locations. I think it's interesting that there is a possibility that this is the route that the devs are going to go with in regards to Call of Duty 2025, especially when you take into account that the campaign for COD 2025 is supposed to be a direct sequel to Black Ops 2. I'm not sure how they're going to go about developing it, but they probably have something up their sleeve. Also, Charlie Intel even reported on this as well. Call of Duty 2025, which is currently rumored to be a sequel to Black Ops 2, is also being discussed internally as having an open world campaign with several different biomes and locales. And on top of that, COD 2025 still doesn't have an assigned lead developer. So this is pretty much the consensus of what the rumors are surrounding Black Ops Gulf War. The campaign is set to have open world elements. It will also have a fast travel system with vehicles too. Raven is also developing the campaign. Adler is set to make his return and it's also targeting an October 2024 release. Tom Henderson, who is a very well-known gaming source within the community, he's he's gotten a lot of his predictions right for the most part. He's also elaborated on this matter too. As mentioned in this article, currently Call of Duty 2025, 20 months from release, does not have an assigned main developer. It's my understanding that it was meant to be Sledgehammer Games, but following on from the 16-month development cycle of Modern Warfare 3, they basically refused and didn't want to become a year to support studio. I mean, good on Sledgehammer, because if you really think about it, they've had to clean up the mess of certain studios to try to make their Call of Duty games better. For the most part, Infinity Ward's messes, especially given how Modern Warfare 2 went. Not only that, but Sledgehammer hasn't been able to make a full-on Call of Duty title that's been fleshed out with so much to indulge in since COD World War II back in 2017. So it's pretty much been like seven years. High Moon Studios was in the running at one point, which would have made it the fourth studio ever to mainline a Call of Duty game, but I believe that it's likely going to fall to Treyarch in the end. Infinity Ward is already developing Call of Duty 2026, and Sledgehammer Games recently got the green light to develop COD 2027 as per his previous reporting. Infinity Ward is already developing Call of Duty 2026 as we speak, and I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Fuck COD 2026. I've been saying this for a long time, but they are going to make a worse version of Modern Warfare 2 2022. I truly, truly believe that. Fuck COD 2026. 
I don't want to hear it. Now, I do want to preface that we are still a long, long ways until 2027. Things could always change from now until then. So there is a pretty good possibility that Sledgehammer might end up getting swapped by some other mainline studio to develop COD 2027. I do want to preface that we are a long ways from Call of Duty 2027 releasing to the public, meaning that there is always the possibility that Sledgehammer could get swapped with some other mainline dev to work on these future Call of Duty titles. I just want to like make that clear because yeah, this news does sound encouraging to say the least, but at the same time, I think it's just best to take it with a grain of salt as you never know what might happen from now until 2027. I'll try to provide links to those specific articles and tweets in the description so you guys can go and check it out for yourselves. It really blows my mind that Activision is still insisting on having a brand new Call of Duty title release every single year instead of just letting the franchise rest and take a year-long break. But hey man, they gotta get that money somehow. I mean, it is what it is, unfortunately. Honestly, dude, like with the news regarding Black Ops Gulf War and what Call of Duty 2025 is going to be, a part of me just can't help but think. I might be in the minority when I say this, but hearing the news surrounding Black Ops Gulf War and what Call of Duty 2025 is going to be, which is pretty much supposedly going to be a sequel to Black Ops 2, I can't help but think to myself. I might be in the minority when I say this, but it really, really does bother me that Treyarch is so incapable of moving beyond the Black Ops subseries. The reason I say that is because ever since Black Ops became a thing for Call of Duty back in 2010, Treyarch has not gone out of their way to think outside the box and create an entirely new sub-series for them to be able to base their games on. Infinity Ward, however, they were able to do so when they developed Call of Duty Ghosts and Infinite Warfare, so they were able to branch out and develop something that didn't have the Modern Warfare sub-series or name attached to it. My guess is, is that Activision is so worried about Treyarch's Call of Duty titles not doing well that they have to put the Black Ops name on a specific Treyarch title so that way they can meet their sales goals. I don't know man, I just think for me personally, like I wish Treyarch would move on from the Black Ops subseries and just try something entirely new and create a whole new subseries for the players to indulge in. But yeah, pretty much Treyarch is working on COD 2024 as we speak. We still have no idea of who is going to be the assigned lead developer for COD 2025. We do know that Infinity Ward is working on COD 2026 as we speak, and Sledgehammer is going to get the chance to work on COD 2027, therefore they're able to finally work on developing a fully fleshed out Call of Duty title that they haven't been able to do since COD World War II. Like I said, we're still a long ways from 2027, so things could always change from now until then, but for now, from what we're being told, I mean, if it is going the way that it's going to go, I guess it's encouraging news. I guess it's cool for everybody. We'll have to wait and see how things pan out. What? Dude, I just got collat headshotted through the wall. What? I can't believe that dude got a collat headshot on me and it was a wall bang. That just makes it worse. But I want to know from you guys, what do you make of the news surrounding Call of Duty 2024, 2025, and even COD 2027 as well? Are you excited at the prospect of Sledgehammer developing COD 2027? What are you most looking forward to out of this year's COD along with next year's COD? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to know what you guys have to say. But anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you're more than welcome to drop a like on it. And if you enjoyed this type of content, you are more than welcome to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can be notified when my newest video has gone live. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. It's been your boy Discreet, and I'll catch you in the next video.